This tutorial will show you how to create a text-based analytic rubric. This means each level and criteria are assessed by text only. This type of rubric is not used for scoring uh, the student's work. It is primarily used for feedback only. So for example, your levels would be poor, good, or excellent. And then you could give some feedback to the student. Again, this particular type of rubric is not used for scoring. To get to the rubrics, you click on the Edit Course tab on the nav bar and click on Rubrics. Just like with any other rubric, it's important at this point that you should have the rubric spelled out exactly the way you want it with the levels and the criteria. And again, since this is text-based, you have no overall score exactly as you want it. So here are my four criteria and my four levels and then what each level means. Make sure you have that done before you go to the next step, which is clicking on create a new rubric. Go ahead and put the name of the rubric in there. I will choose the rubric status. You want to keep it on draft as you create the rubric. The type is analytic. I'm going to make sure that I have the levels and the criteria again because I've mapped this out. Again, I know I have four levels and four criteria. So four levels for criteria, scoring method, choose text only. Then click on the levels and criteria tab. So the next step in the process is for you to edit each of the individual criteria. So to do that, you click on the context menu next to the first criteria and click on edit criterion. What you want to do is put the name of the criterion in there. Once again, since I have it well mapped out, I can just simply copy and paste. This will make, your, make it so much easier and so much quicker for you to be able to get your work done. Then I'm going to put the description. Again, since I have all of these spelled out, this one's level 4. I'm going to copy and paste each one of these. There's level 3. Again, copy and paste level 2 and finally copy and paste level 1 then I'm going to go ahead and click Save and what you want to do is repeat this process for each criteria so after you've copied and pasted each criterion you go click on save. So the last step in the process is to change the names of the levels and the levels on the overall scores. So click on the context menu next to the overall score and click on edit levels. And so what you want to do here is again just copy in here so again, we're just going to copy and paste each of the levels. And again, having your rubric mapped out completely is going to make it much easier for you to get this done in a much more efficient manner. After I have the levels in there, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. So now the last step is to change the names of the levels at the top. In order to do that, you click on the context menu next to the criteria and click Edit Criterion Group. And again, in this case, we have the Criterion Group. We just want to go back and copy and paste the levels again. Once I have all of those copied and pasted, go ahead and click Save. And now your text-based uh, rubric is complete. Again, remember the text-based rubric is not used for grading. It's just simply used for um, feedback to the student. Click Close when you're done.